Aloha YouTube, this is Miran. We're going to start with a magic ring by yarning over your finger two times and grabbing your size eye hook and putting it right through the center and then you're going to pull up a loop and chain one. In your first round you're going to do nine simple crochets. After your nine simple crochets, go ahead and do a slip stitch in the chain one where you first started your magic ring and you started your round one, do a slip stitch in that chain. And then if you notice that tail that you have starting right there, you're going to pull that as tight as you can. Row two, going right into that first stitch, do a slip stitch, chain four, one treble crochet and one double crochet all in that stitch. Now if you watch closely, I take my tail and I just move my yarn around it because I want to weave it into my work as I'm crocheting. So you know, I, sometimes it's not very easy. As you can see I'm struggling a little bit. But once I get it around, then I just continue my crocheting right on top of that tail. And I do that because I want to crochet my, my tail into my work so I don't have to go back later with a yarn needle and sew that later. So if I crochet with it then it's a lot easier. So again, you do a slip stitch, chain four, a treble crochet, and a double crochet, and that first simple crochet. And again, I'm just pulling that tail around so I can crochet on top of it, so I can weave it in as I'm crocheting. In the next stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. In the next one, you're going to do a half double crochet. In the next stitch, you will be doing a single crochet. And the next stitch you have three single crochets. And again, if you can see that tail, I'm just holding it against my work and crocheting right on top of it. So you're going to do three single crochets in that stitch. After you do those three single crochets, the very next stitch will be a single crochet as well. And in the next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet. The next stitch is a double crochet. And then in your last stitch, you're going to do a double crochet, a treble crochet, also known as a triple crochet. And then you're going to chain four. And now you're going to slip stitch right there in the center. You can slip stitch right where your chain four starts too, it doesn't matter. So now that you're there, you're done. Now all you gotta do is chain four. And this is gonna give you that little loop so you can string it on to stuff. <laughs> so chain four and then do a slip stitch again right there in the center.
So there's that first tail that I wove in as I crocheted along. And because I did that, I can just cut it right off. I don't need to go and sew it through anything, whatever. It's good to go. But this end off tail right here is obviously there. So this is my yarn needle. I use I use them all the time. I You get like a three or five pack. I don't remember how many is in there. You can get them at Walmart for like a dollar and twenty cents. They're super, super inexpensive. I have like a million of these because I use them all the time. And I'm just going to randomly just dig it right through the back of my work. Take that loose end, pull it through, and cut it off. And you're good to go. So now I'm using two yarns and making a slip knot. You can use uh, one yarn if you want to make it thinner. I use the I use the multi yarn because I wanted it to be a little a little extra. It's for Valentine's. Thought it was cute. You're gonna yarn over and pull through, and every time you do that, you're making a chain. So that's a chain. That's three, and you're gonna keep doing this until you have the length that you want. And if you notice in the background. I have my hearts and some of them are a little bit bigger than the others. So the smaller ones are used are made from the size I hook that we use today. And the ones that are slightly bigger is size K hook. It's two sizes up. And I just did that because I wanted to have, have them be a little bit different. 